Hello Photobus, I am John from Paris and I'm going to show you today a salad in Jamie's garden. I'm going to see what I found. I'm going to do a homemade mayonnaise with rhubarb to do with it. So let's go. So this is amazing, you know, to be in this uh, huge garden. I, I have in Paris my own small garden, but it's not like this. So first I'm going to take some zucchini because they are wonderful. I want to do a salad with the flower of, course, of zucchini and also the, the zucchini themselves. Artichoke. I like this. In, in Brittany, where I'm from in France, uh, we, this is a perfect season for artichoke. I'm going to take one beetroot, a small one. This one is a red one. I will take one yellow one like this, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. You see, this is the top of a carrot, but it's very nice. You, if you fry it, it tastes like carrot. It's amazing. We are going to put on the top of the salad. And I will take one big piece of rhubarb to do the mayonnaise. One piece, I'm going to make mayonnaise with the juice. So first I'm going to do the homemade mayonnaise with rhubarb. Slice it in small spaces. Put it in a basil mortar with a little bit water. Blow this to extract the juice of the rhubarb. I put a little bit lemon in the rhubarb juice so it's not going black. Now I put this juice on the side and I'm going to do homemade mayonnaise. So, one bowl, one yellow egg, mustard, little bit salt. We have to use like a cooking oil, not an olive oil for mayonnaise, it's better. And I'm going to put some oil, very slow, inside yellow and mustard. We have to put the oil slowly because if you don't put slowly, it's not going up. Mayonnaise is not strong after it's liquid, it's not good. Mayonnaise is okay, you can feel. Okay, no problem, it's okay. After I've put the juice of rhubarb inside the mayonnaise. Okay, now my sauce is ready. I'm going to do the zucchini and the beetroot to go with the mayonnaise. I just picked fresh, so it's important to watch it. I'm do, going to put the pan on. I'm going to cut the zucchini in big pieces like this. Put some olive oil on the pan. Put the zucchini inside. I put salt and pepper. I wait like one minute like this. I want it soft but hard, medium. It's not all, all, almost cooked. I want medium cook. And I'm going to put a little bit Vinegar, after I put the flour, just like that. And that's it, we put it out. We just let the, the zucchini continue cooking themselves outside. More oil, and I wait the pan is very hot because we are going to fry, you know, the herbs above the carrot. Okay, when the pan is very hot, we are going to fry like this. It's just a few seconds, huh? We put some salt quickly and we leave. I'm going to take just one part of beetroot like this. Cut it like this. Very thin piece of beetroot. Little bit olive oil with salt. And I'm going to take some rosemary over there. Cut it slow, very thin. Yeah, it's just to season nice the beetroot. And now we are ready to support all together. In the back, I'm going to put the mayonnaise rhubarb. Then I'm going to put some zucchini nice. Then we are going to put some flour, zucchini on the bottom, like this. Put some beetroot, just, just like this. And to finish, I put the crispy carrots, you know, just to make it different uh, texture. So this is my homemade uh, mayonnaise with rhubarb and delicious vegetable from uh, Jamie's Garden. So make sure you subscribe and uh, you have a lot, lot of video more from me and better English, of course. Hi guys, Jamie here. Click the link to head over to Drinks Tube and check out my first ever soft drink. It's an amazing summer fruit punch. It's really refreshing, full of flavor and really simple. Give it a go.